Hello, everyone. We are live. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dr. Lisa Neer. I'm composer and mezzo-soprano, and I'm joined by the fantastic Martin Van Klompenberg, bassoonist and composer, and Cassandra Ormsby, a bassoonist, an educator, and sticker creator extraordinaire. And we're here with an update about the Sunflower Sea Star Bassoon Sonata Consortium, and then an exciting announcement at the end of our little chat. So. Um, the update, which is really exciting, is that the music has been written and is being workshopped with our fantastic lead commissioner, Martin, and student coordinator, Cassandra, to get all the little kinks and all the little edits out. Um, Martin, what do you want to say about the music? Uh, every step of the way, I've been, every time Lisa sent me an update, I've been super excited about it. And okay. it's in a, like, Thus far, I've had the music for about six weeks now, and I've been just kind of digging through it. It's incredible. It's exactly what I was hoping for when we, uh, when I contacted Lisa. Was, was I wanted something new and different, but that was incredibly accessible. There's, you know, there's some technique in it, but nothing that could do. But there's also in the the non technical spots. There's some incredible areas to make music that. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm really digging right now. Yay. Oh, that's so exciting to hear. Thank you. I'm I'm really humbled and honored. Um, for folks, folks who don't know much about the Sunflower Sea Star, they are the second largest sea stars in the world. We don't know much about the largest because they live so deep. Um, and they were, until very recently, very common up and down the West Coast, which is where I grew up and where I am. I'm in Portland, um, not too far from the ocean. And they are a keystone species. So one of their most important roles is as a predator of sea urchins and other um, shellfish and, and bivalves and things like that. But the sea urchins in particular, um, it's an important role that they play because without the sunflower sea stars and other sea stars eating them, the urchins can really decimate the kelp forest. And that is in fact what's happening, unfortunately, is that the populations have really declined in the last um, five or 10 years and a lot of science is being um, done now to try to figure out why. So the movements of the piece um, touch on this. We have the first movement intertitle that is all about the habitat of this sunflower sea star, the place where the ocean meets the land. And then in the second movement, Predator, we actually get a follow along as the sunflower sea star goes on a hunt and eats something, <laughs> which I think is really fun. Uh, and also, that leads us into the final movement, Keystone, which is a little bit more contemplative, um, has some uh, ex sort of exposed vulnerable solos with a lot of space, like Martin was saying, for interpretation that I think, you know, my goal is to express the importance of this species and almost sort of go on a search in the depths through the music to see if we can find one. So um, that's a little overview. You can also check out our socials for previews and um, sneak peeks of the music. And I want to throw it to Cassandra now to talk about our young artist competition because our um, our commissioning consortium includes a professional tier, but it also includes a student tier uh, that is at a um, discounted price. It's only half as much to join. So Cassandra, take it away. Yeah, thanks. Um, so the just in a nutshell, the student tier um, you are eligible to submit a video recording of your performance, and that would be by September 2023. It has a $100 prize. You get a signed copy of Immortal Jellyfish, um, which is a bassoon duet also written by Lisa. And then your video will also be featured on the composer's website, which is a huge opportunity, I think, especially for young artists. Um, and one of the most important things I have to say about students being able to have a competition like this is that it's a new competition. There is, there's no standards to compare yourself to. And one of the things that um, as a student that I've always been told is to make the music and make it personable and convincing. And so you have the perfect opportunity to put your mark on this new piece. Um, and to interpret the music how you like. Um, and so for me, I find it to be um, not intimidating. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is because <laughs> I feel so intimidated by these huge competitions that are national and international as a student. Um, and 
like so you can go into this with no fear at all um because honestly i don't have like any like preset expectations for the videos i'm gonna hear so i think that we could hear it 10 12 different ways and love all of them equally you know so i think it's a huge opportunity for students to express their musicality make their mark um and just have fun um recording because i think i've always dreaded the recording process because i was comparing myself to what it should what it should sound like as a musician comparing myself but you don't have to do that with this just make music and enjoy it Yay, I love that. Yeah, we really wanted to build this grassroots sort of um, welcoming experience for young artists to get involved in the commissioning process and also to have a chance to let their excellence shine through because we know that as you're sort of going through your life as a young performer and going through your different degrees, maybe even graduate degrees and getting quite proficient, right? There's still this weird sort of gap in between the student life and the professional life where you need opportunities to get yourself out there to challenge yourself and also to receive recognition for your artistic brilliance. And so we really hope that we'll get um, even more students to join us. We welcome you and we would love to hear your, your interpretations of this brand new piece. Um, so now big announcement time. The consortium has been going on for a while and we now are going to announce the final date to join. So you got to join us by January 15th at 11.59 p.m. midnight Pacific time, okay? Uh, after that, the consortium is gonna close. And that is also the delivery date of the score. So if you join on January 15th, you're gonna get an email back from me like right away with your music. It'll be instant gratification, which will be super exciting. And of course, everyone who has joined to this point will also be getting their music on January 15th. And then it's gonna be closed and no one else will get to play the piece until 2024. So that's a one-year exclusivity period until January 15th, 2024. So now's the time, the holidays are coming up. You know, you're gonna get kind of crazy and busy and forget about all the things that you've been meaning to do. So we'd love for you to hop on over. I'm gonna drop the link uh, in the comments after we close, but it's my website, leasingyourmusic.com. Uh, you can go there and there's a big old button that says Bassoon Sonata and we'll drop the link there. If you've got questions, reach out to me, reach out to Martin, reach out to Cassandra. You can also go chat with Martin and Cassandra at Meg Quigley in January. Um, what are you two doing at Meg Quigley? Uh, I'll go ahead. <laughs> um, I will be a vendor at Meg Quigley. Um, the Cassandra Bassoon uh, table is gonna be selling all sorts of my stickers and beeswax, um, but I'll also be nearby if you have any questions or just wanna say hi. So that'll be really cool. Yay. Yeah. I'll be working uh, on and off at the small vendor table uh, with my my composition and arrangements that I'll have there. And I'll also get, be lucky I get to play with my former bassoon studio at the University of Arizona for one of the, the, the dinners, which I'm really oh, looking forward to. That's awesome. Yeah, so go you know hit us up online, hit us up in person, ask your questions. If you've got questions about difficulty level or length or you know, any other things you're wondering about the music, feel free to ask us. And we hope that you'll join us in creating this new piece of music and being the first groups of performers, the first individuals to ever bring this music to life. So thanks everybody for tuning in. We're super excited and onwards and upwards for the Sunflower Sea Star Bassoon Sonata Consortium. Woo! Yay! <laughs>